Over the past month, I've asked my virtual assistant to only write AI blog posts to see if they would rank on Google. And in this video, I'm going to share my results. I'm gonna share the niches that I've written in. I'm going to share how many blog posts I've had my virtual assistant write. And I'm going to share how many keywords I rank for. So if you've seen videos out there that claim that you can simply write AI blog posts and rank and make money on Google, make sure you watch this video. Hi, my name is Alston Godbolt with AlstonGodbolt.com. I create content to actually help you make money online and not just to put money into my own pocket. And if you want to be added to the globe, comment down below with your city, state, zip code, province, or country, and I'll get you pinned. One of the things that we're seeing on YouTube is people are claiming that you can make thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars simply writing AI blog posts and that they can rank on Google and you can just rake in the money. Well, what I decided to do is I actually hired a virtual assistant specifically for this task. I gave him step-by-step -step directions on the type of blog post that I want written. I found the keywords for him and he just went out and wrote. And so what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you the exact process I told him to use so that you can emulate it and do it too. I'm gonna show you how I found keywords. There's a couple of different ways that you can do it. And then at the end of the video, I am going to share exactly how many keywords I rank for. Now, one thing that I wanna point out before we get started is one month is absolutely nothing for a brand new blog post. So the results that you see today could be completely different in three, six, or nine months from now. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the process and then I'm going to reveal how many keywords I rank for. So if we take a look at my screen here, the first thing that we need to do is we need to figure out some keywords. Now what I do is I use a paid keyword research tool. I'm gonna to show you a paid way, then a free way so that you can get started quickly. Now what I do is I'll have a keyword or a keyword phrase for example can dogs eat what I'll be doing is I'll be writing on each of these keywords but I don't want to just write on these keywords I want to find low competition keywords for example I'll change the keyword difficulty to 10 or less this should give us a better opportunity to rank if we're a brand new blog post now when I say rank I mean ranking on the first page of Google or ranking on Google at all. Google has a ranking system where they analyze every single blog post and they slot it in different spots depending on the quality of the blog post. Now, when you see a keyword that has a keyword difficulty of 10 or less, this seems like an opportunity for a brand new blog post or a brand new blog in general to start showing up in search results for Google. So for this example, can dogs eat is one of the keywords that I'm actually writing for, I will find keywords that are 10 or less. And I'll simply just go through, and for example, I'll use can dogs eat tomatoes. Now, this is the paid way. This is a paid keyword research tool. Recently, I've talked about a free keyword research tool. It is Ahrefs, and you just will type in, just go to Google and type in Ahrefs free keyword generator, and it should be the first result. And what you're gonna do again, you're just gonna type in can dogs eat like this. And one thing that you will see is that the keywords that show up are going to be a little bit different. One of the drawbacks of free versus paid. So you have a bunch of different keywords and what you're going to do is just move on to the next step. And the next step is to copy this keyword just like this and dogs eat avocado. And we're going to go over to ChatGPT and we're going to enter in a few different prompts. First prompt we're going to enter in is create blog post title. And then we're going to put our keyword, which is can dogs eat avocados in quotation marks. All right, as you can see, write blog post title for can dogs eat avocados. It's going to give us a list. We just need to pick one and move on to the next step. And really the next step is to copy this right here and we're just going to paste it in once again. And then we're gonna say write blog post outline like this, outline for can dogs eat avocado. And it's going to give us a nice little outline. And then the final step is to actually ask it to write each individual section. Now. When I ask it to do it this way, it writes a better, longer blog post. In the previous steps, I would just say write blog post for, or write 2,000 word blog post for Ken Dogs Eat Avocado. It would only give us maybe like a thousand words. But if we come back up here and we copy this and we say write blog section like this, and it should give us a pretty good result. Now, I am using ChatGPT4. You can do this exact same thing with ChatGPT3, which is the free version. But if we scroll down here, as you can see, it gives us 
a pretty good amount of information that we can just copy and paste right into our WordPress website. Now again, people will probably ask, can I do this on Google Sites? Maybe, I don't know if you're gonna get the same results. Can you do this on Wix for free or Squarespace? I don't know, maybe, it may work. I always recommend that you get your own base of operations, go out and spend the $3 per month and get your own web hosting. Now, if you're looking for a web hosting provider, it's $3 per month. I'll put a link in the description toward it. It is an affiliate link, but it's gonna help you build a brand. People are gonna trust you more. And so you're just gonna go back and forth here. You're gonna have this, you're gonna copy this, put this right into your WordPress website, and then you're going to click publish. That's exactly, that's. this is the only thing that I've asked my virtual assistant to do. They didn't read through it, they didn't make any edits, they just did the bare minimum. I wanted to see if the bare minimum could make me money, and we're gonna talk about it. Now, the niches that I've written in pet, the pet niche, I've written in vacation, I've written in make money online. In fact, if you go to my website, alstongodbolt.com, you'll be able to see some of those blog posts in action. I've written in different sub niches of make money online. I have written in a variety of topics, including security cameras, sound bars, all sorts of stuff to see what would and what would not rank. And so in total, I've asked my virtual assistant to write four blog posts per week across the 20 different blogs that I've had. Now he's run into some trouble uploading on some different blogs. And if we do the math, if we multiply four times 20 times four, four blog posts per week, 20 blogs or websites, and they he did this for four weeks, you are looking at 320 blog posts written. Now I'm sure you're wondering how he does it. It's all AI, so it takes him probably 30 or 40 minutes. Now without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about how many keywords have actually ranked for. Now I was pleasantly surprised because as I mentioned, one month is absolutely nothing. My first original blog, it took months to start seeing rankings and traffic. So if I can get some results in less than a month, I'm pretty happy. The key for me and the key for you should be to target low competition keywords. So keywords that have competition difficulty of zero, one, two, three, those are gonna be your best bet. And as I showed you, you can actually find some keywords that have low competition, but get tons of monthly searches, like Ken Dogs Eat Avocados. It gets tons of searches. All right, without further ado, let's not go ahead and belabor the point anymore. How many keywords have I ranked for? I've actually ranked for close to 500 keywords, which I am absolutely astounded with. So that lets me know that AI written blog posts can rank, and I'm confident that after month six, I have my virtual assistant continuously writing all of these blog posts. I'll be able to rank for even more keywords and I may even show up on the first page. While the number of keywords is great, I don't have any on the first page yet and I only have maybe one or two actual pieces of traffic. So people coming to my website and quite frankly, I haven't made any money. I know that you guys always wanna know how much money I've made from this. But for me, I'm looking for signs of success. If I can rank, that means I can potentially get traffic. That's going to give me the incentive to keep writing or have my virtual assistant write so that I can make more money online. Guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. I was actually pleasantly surprised by the outcome. Also, watch this video next because YouTube says it will help you grow your online business.